Okay, so we have another related rates problem here. It involves a triangle, and, and one of the things that will it will involve is an angle as well. Um, so we have a ladder, and here is the ladder, and it is 25 feet long, leaning against the wall of a house, which I labeled Y. The base of the ladder, uh, the ground, X, um, it is being pulled away from the wall at a rate of 2 feet per second when the base of the ladder is 7 feet from the wall, so when x equals 7, we have three questions to answer. First, how fast is the top moving down the wall? So that is, how is y changing? So for part a, what we're solving for is dy dt. So I'm going to use Pythagorean theorem because it relates the three sides, um, and we have information about the rate of change of these two, and we're solving for that. So I'll have x squared plus y squared, and the latter is constant, so we can substitute the 25 there. So both x and y are changing with respect to time, uh, but this is not a function written explicitly in terms of time, so we're going to do implicit differentiation. So the derivative of x squared would be 2x dx dt, and then the derivative of y squared would be 2y dy dt, and the derivative of a constant is 0. So they tell us in part a that x is 7 and that dx dt is 2. Um, and um, let's see, uh, and no, we're going to have to determine the y value. Um, and so we'll do that um, using the fact that x is 7 and the hypotenuse there um, is 25. So y squared uh, plus the 7 squared equals 25 squared. Um, and so y would be 24. So we have 2 times 7 times dx dt, which is 2, plus 2 times y, which is 24, times dy dt equals 0. Um, and 2 times 2 is 4, that's 28, subtract, divide by the 48, and dy dt would be negative 7 twelfths, and our units would be feet per second. Um, part B asks us for the rate, or how fast the area is changing, so the area is the product of x and y, and again, it's not written as a function of t, so we'll have to do implicit differentiation as well as product rule. So dA dt equals x times the derivative of y with respect to time plus y times the derivative of x with respect to time. So we're going to be using the value of dy dt that we found in the previous problem. So we know that x is, uh, oops, my area, I forgot my one-half for a triangle. So we have one-half, and then x uh, would be 7. That's the distance from the wall, dy dt is negative 7 twelfths. y we found was 24, and dx dt was 2. And when we use do all that arithmetic, uh, we end up with an approximation um, of 21.958, and we always want to make sure we go to three decimal places. Um, and the units here, since it, it is area, would be square feet per second, area being a square unit. Uh, the last one is how fast is the angle between the top of the ladder and the wall, which I've labeled here theta, uh, uh, changing. Uh, and so we're looking for, in part C, a d theta dt. And so we need to figure out what's the relationship that we're going to use this angle and some of this other information we're given. I think the easiest one to use here would be the sine, because we know that the sine of theta, opposite side, which is x, divided by the hypotenuse is 25. 
Now, because this is a constant, we can substitute the value 25. Um, if this was a variable that was changing, we'd have to leave it as a variable. So we have 25 sine theta equals x. So again, x and theta are changing with respect to time. So our derivative here would be 25. The derivative of sine is cosine theta. And then our chain rule times d theta dt is equal to dx dt. Now, one of the things that we're going to need to determine um, is the cosine of that angle. Um, and so when we look at the angle, what we do know, and I'll redraw the triangle down here, is that at that moment in time, right, we know that that side is 7, uh, this side is 24, and this side is 25. So the cosine of that angle, which would be the opposite side um, over the, uh, I'm sorry, the adjacent side over the hypotenuse. So the cosine of theta is 24 over 25. So we have 25 times the cosine of theta, which is 24 over 25 times the theta dt is equal to dx dt. Uh, so we end up with 24 d theta dt equals x, uh, which we know is, or dx dt rather, uh, which we knew was uh, 2. So d theta dt is equal to 1 twelfth, 2 divided by 24, and our units here would be radians per second.